and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host today, Carrie Coogan, and we're with State Senator Jim Denning, Kansas State Senator Jim Denning. Thanks for being here with us today. Uh, I also want to mention that we're in the all-electric house uh, from the Johnson County Museum of History. Have you ever been here before? I've not been out here, so it's interesting. I'm going to take a tour before I go. That sounds great. It's very interesting. Um, well, thanks so much for being here. Um, we're talking business today, and I, I know that um, one of, one of your initiatives has been um, not only business, but uh, business policy, um, things that you've been working on in the community to help promote the economy. Can you talk about some of that? Sure. W you know, with my background as uh, the retired chief executive officer of Discover Vision Centers, my expertise in the legislature has been mostly on budgeting and then business issues and policy that surrounds it. So this is my first term in the Senate, and I've concentrated my legislative activities around trying to build a framework that's conducive to promoting business and jobs. What I'm trying to do for Johnson County in particular is have it be a community where it's favorable to own a business, raise a family, have good schools, good roads, just an environment that's uh, conducive to all those uh, items that I just mentioned. So those are all great things that everyone would want in a community. So what are you doing to try to bring that to Johnson County? Well, th there's probably four or five major initiatives that I've been uh, personally involved in. Uh, the first initiative was the, the tax reduction of 2013. Kansas reduced personal income taxes by 20% in 2013. And then on the small business side, the LLCs and the subchapter S structures, we no longer tax the business income of those entities with the logic of those small companies will put their capital back in their companies and grow their business and hire more employees. So that in a, you know, in a broad picture with the 20% reduction in personal income taxes, it's about $23 million in all the employees' paychecks in Kansas every payday, $23 million. Mm -hmm. For Johnson County, on an annual basis, it's about $453. That is to say, when everybody filed their tax return last year, they paid $453 less in taxes. So the idea behind the tax reduction was to have that money on the small business side grow small businesses, and then on the consumer side, buy more product. So for Johnson County, when you just look at the statistics for us, it appears that it's working very well for a county like Johnson County that's very business oriented and family oriented. So specifically, when you look at the data for Johnson County, our retail sales have exceeded a billion dollars a month, which is a historical record. Our home sales are exceeding $1,000 a month, which is an, a historical record. So it seems like the consumer movement that we did with the tax reduction is putting that money back to work. And when you look at the gross national product of the Kansas City area, it's about 1.8%. and Missouri side, it's about 0.8%. So we're doing about three times as much um, business productivity as the Missouri side for the Kansas City metropolitan area. So I feel like the tax plan it has been working for Johnson County. So real quick, we're, we're almost out of time, but I did want to ask you, you, know, you mentioned that you were retired as the CEO from uh, Discover Vision Centers and now you're in your first term in the Senate. So what has, has anything surprised you? What, is, what has been most interesting in, in changing careers the way you've done? What, what stands out? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, everybody wants government to run like a business, but it really doesn't because it's all committee driven. In business, you make a decision, and if it's right or wrong, you go with it. And if it's right, you're a hero. And if it's wrong, you stop, change direction. But in the legislature, it's all committee driven, so you have to get you know 20 votes in committee before it even goes to the full body. So it's very slow, very methodical a lot of relationship building and for example a bill that you may be interested in may take two years to get it through the whole system or in the private sector uh, you wake up in the morning and decide to do something do you it. do it on your way to work so very different environment and you know somebody coming from the business side that is the lead decision maker it, it, it is a very difficult transition because you have to work with 
in the Senate, you have to work with 40 people, and in the House, it's 125, so it's a big body. You've got your work cut out for you, for sure. Well, that's all the time we have today, uh, State Senator uh, Jim Denning. Thanks so much for coming in today. We really appreciate your time and your service uh, for the state, so yeah. thank you. Thank you for having me. Sure. And that's all the time we have here on Newsmakers. I'm your host, Carrie Coogan, and we'll see you back here next time.